Where are you more likely to get shot at? Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Halal Snack Pack. My name is Juliana. And my name is Izzy. Now that we've lived in each other's neck of the woods for some time now, we thought we'd do a bit of a comparison video. Everyone's experience will be different, so it's very subjective. So needless to say, this video is based on our experiences. We each ask a question or say a statement, and we just have to choose which country we prefer. Sweden slash Norway. Or Singapore. We'll be asking the hard-hitting questions like, where is it easier to money launder or to commit tax fraud? So... We're kidding. Obviously kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have a culture comparison video that we posted about a year ago, I think, where we actually sat down and talked and compared Norwegian culture and Singapore Malay culture. So if you're interested in watching that, then go ahead. So if you're ever in that niche of deciding where to live, Singapore or Sweden, that really tiny niche, you know, this video is for you. So we're going to decide who asks the first question. Okay. See this? <laughs> so wait, you won. What the hell? I thought we were just doing it for the camera. I just forgot to do it. <laughs> I was too focused on doing this three yeah. times. So I guess we start off with a very obvious one. Which country is the most suitable for Muslims to live in? Three, two, one, Singapore. Singapore. Duh. Easy, easy. Of course, like in this scenario, I think Norway is not really in the picture to compare. No. <laughs> it's more so Sweden versus uh, Singapore because it's a lot easier, I guess, being Muslim in Sweden compared to Norway. It's just for the simple fact that you have more masjids. It's a smaller country, so halal food is much more accessible. And also generally, Asian countries are a bit more conservative when it comes to many different topics and challenges that plagues the world today, in our opinion. So yeah, I would say Singapore, for sure. And of course, you could say the reason behind this is that there are more Muslims in Singapore, naturally, than Sweden and Norway. My turn. Where are there more racists? Three, Ooh. two, one, Singapore. Singapore. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I thought you would say Sweden or Norway. I've had more racist encounters in Singapore than I've had in Sweden. Of course, I have lived in Singapore for a longer period of time. So not that I'm looking forward to or seeking out racist encounters. It's just something that happens, really. It's, of course, like I'm the white girl growing up in Norway with green eyes. You know, of course, I haven't experienced any racist encounters. The few experiences and things I've seen and heard in Singapore, you know, to me is like, what? That's so crazy. I think if anything, you've actually experienced me experiencing yeah, racism yeah. before. It's like, not, you, not firsthand. Yeah, you've seen it happen like in real time. But that's not to say that, you know, racist encounters will happen every day of your life in Singapore. That's not the case. Obviously, there's more Muslim hate and Islamophobia in Sweden. The only reason why we bring it up is simply to highlight the fact that it does happen. Not so much to highlight that, oh, I'm a victim of racism. You know, it's just something that happens. It is what it is. What people say about you doesn't define who you are. When it does become a problem, it's when your own people start to perpetuate that type of thinking onto themselves. There's lots of words to describe this type of people. Sometimes it's known as a Uncle Tom, a bootlicker, a <coughs> kisser, but essentially it's all the same thing. Just to add to that point, in Norway, we have a term called everyday racism and it just means that the racism has become so casual that you actually don't notice it. This is a fun one. This is very much our thing. <laughs> Where is the best movie theater experience? Ooh, it's Three, two, one, Singapore. Singapore. <laughs> of course. Even though I don't like that the subtitles are Chinese. <laughs> Coming from a small place where the movie theater was built for like maybe the population of 30,000 people, it's a old place so like coming to singapore the first time going to the movie theater like wow big city life what is this so fancy you could have nachos <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the movie theater like what yeah. and iced tea like is yeah it's a lot of fun there's just so many movie theaters like almost every other shopping mall has one a good thing about singapore cinemas they have early shows 9 a.m 10 a.m so if you're really lucky maybe no one else books and you almost have like a private cinema just for you Pretty and fun. no people as well that's like the one thing <laughs> that's the dream yeah, that's the dream no one there beautiful he doesn't like people like next question where are you more likely to get shot at oh wow <laughs> really <laughs> okay i'll oh. rephrase it which country is safer three oh, 
two, two one, one Singapore. Singapore. You you're watched doing everything in Singapore. You can't really get away with anything. Yeah. You can literally be naked in your house and people will report you. The thing is, <laughs> why are you looking into people's houses? Again, it's very subjective. Like, <clears throat> no, alhamdulillah, we've been very safe here. Even though we've lived in a supposed gang area. It's but, not even that, but it's like we also take our precautions. We don't go out super late at night. I don't walk outside alone with my earbuds in. You know, like we take precautions. But for sure, there's more crime and sh- actual shootings in Scandinavia compared to Singapore. So now back to more important topics. Who has the better drinks? Oh, wow. <laughs> Obviously, we're talking about non alcoholic drinks because we're Muslim. We're not the type of Muslims. We're not that type of Muslims. <laughs> Three. Two, one, Singapore. Singapore, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, it has to be Singapore. So everything that, that we get here is like, it's boba tea, you know. It's from Asia. <laughs> the drink selection in Singapore, again, is top notch. You have, <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> I closed my eyes. I couldn't see. <laughs> we both did that. Nice. <laughs> I couldn't see when I was so in sync. I was so in it. <laughs> you were so like drinks. <laughs> you have anything from like teas to like fizzy drinks, Asian type drinks, you know, like super cooler, bandung, Milo ice. Ooh, Milo. <laughs> Longan. Yeah, like there's just no contest. So this one is kind of related. And that is who has the best chocolate milk? <laughs> Can you see we're in sync? <laughs> Three, two, one, Norway. Or Scandinavia. Uh, maybe Norway, yeah. Yeah. To be fair, Scandinavia has really good chocolate milk, mm-hmm. but not as many options. Whereas in Singapore, you have a bit more variation. They're not as great. Not as rich or as strong. Though. The ones I have tried in Singapore, I felt like it it tastes like that chocolate syrup that you mix with milk, which I don't, I don't like that chocolate syrup flavor. But like the Norwegian, like Litago or Q milk, that's actually the best one, I think. Mm. Okay, then this leads to a different question. Which country has the better milk overall? One, two, three, no Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. Like, for sure, you have banana milk, melon milk. Okay, okay. I was thinking just no cow's way. milk, just plain cow's milk. Even then, like, Singapore, like, no. has way more selection. Like, you get... You get Where's milk- your cows? <laughs> <laughs> we actually get milk from cows in the country. It's more legit. We live on a cow farm. <laughs> from the cows outside. <laughs> I would actually say Singapore because I feel like the milk just tastes a bit better, kind of. I feel here is just, like... I don't know. I miss the I miss the chemicals in Singapore. Or something I don't it know. Could be the milk care is I would say more natural, but I don't know. But Meiji milk, shout out to Meiji, you know, sponsor us or something. Actually, you know what? Wait, my AirPods cover is Meiji. Wow, for sure. Like the flavored milk is there's not much selection in Scandinavia as far as I know. So of course Singapore wins that one. Plain milk, I prefer in Norway, and you prefer Singapore. Yeah. We just grew up with it. I think that's why we bet biased. Yeah. Come on, yeah. melon milk. You, it's un- yeah, of course, I like melon milk. Like, you don't even have un- that in Scandinavia. <laughs> undefeated. Which country is more expensive to live in? <laughs> Three, two, one. Singapore. Actually, yes. It can go both ways, honestly. Yeah, it really depends on how how you look at it. Like, you can live cheaply in Singapore, but you can also live cheaply here in Sweden. But those cheaps are vastly different. It's definitely relative to what we get paid in Singapore and what is paid here in Sweden. You actually have like a base pay. Yeah, minimum pay. It's pretty expensive here as well. Yeah. Like even with our good pay, you know, being one of the richest countries in the world, you know, we prices are going up. The food prices have been going up. Electrical prices have been going crazy. Swedes go to Norway to work to get better pay and then go back to Sweden. And Norwegians go to Sweden because it's a tiny bit cheaper to save money yeah. <laughs> to buy groceries. A bit like Malaysia and Singapore, no? Kind of, yeah. Which country is better for your mental health? Oh, wow. That's a difficult one, man. That's a really difficult one. I, I don't know the answer. But... I can't I can't make a decision because I've only been in Singapore as a tourist. True, but we have to decide in three, two, one. Singapore. <laughs> okay, so all I'm thinking... I, I didn't say I didn't say I don't know honestly like it's it just depends on what you value more I guess yeah you know, what you feel weighs heavier of course I would say Singapore one there's less nature you don't get that mental relaxation you know going outside getting fresh air and whatnot there's no fresh air in Singapore so <laughs> it's like yeah that's one thing the nature aspect but also the work ethics so the not ethics but the working culture. conditions the working culture in Asia is of course crazy compared to Scandinavia so. I think that would take a major toll. I would not want to work in Singapore. Like, and of course, it's not like I live stress-free in Scandinavia, but you know, everyone experiences stress. Yeah. 
as stressful as it may get here in Sweden, when you go outside, you get the nice breeze, you get like a fresh air, yeah. the scenery is good, you know, you feel a lot more calmer. Whereas in Singapore, it's like constant noise. From your house or your flat, you can hear the people like getting on the bus, the beeping. It's like city life, basically. You remember the first time you came to Norway, to the apartment, and then it was like... Silence. Quiet. I think you found it to be too quiet in the beginning. You couldn't sleep. I needed a fan, even though it was like yeah. spring. It was a bit too quiet. Whereas in Singapore, it's like, there's always something. Like at 3 a.m., you can hear like a, a motorbike going off in the distance. Just something going on. That's not to say you won't ever feel relaxed in Singapore. Also, Singapore has, you know, very good relaxing, like the city life in a sense. Like there's a tourist place. You can go to the movie theater very easily. You can go to like a big water park or whatever it is, you know, a beach. And, you know, you have that aspect, which you don't <laughs> as easily have here. Okay, moving on. In which country are you more likely to have a nice house? Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. Sweden. Sweden or Norway. You know, majority of the people in Singapore live in flats. Landed property is crazy expensive in Singapore. And yeah. even flats can get crazy expensive. It depends on what you value. If you enjoy living in a concrete pigeonhole, then maybe Singapore. Like, <laughs> And this question is something that is very important. Better overall food. Three, two, one. Singapore. Singapore. Okay, so for me, obviously, like we would pay all of our money to go to restaurants to eat what he cooks me every day. But I'm not gonna discard like Swedish or Norwegian Cuisine. proper like household food diet. Like it's good for you, but it's not it's not curry. To be fair, it is much healthier and much more sustainable. So it kinda you know, what do you put in the word best? Tastes or healthiest, you know. Options. But generally, I think without a doubt, better food in Singapore. I always get away when I'm there. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, we had really good sushi here. So. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you chose the non-Scandinavian option. We had good sushi. Fun fact: salmon in sushi is not from the Japanese. Nope. It's actually from Norway. Which leads us to another question: Who has the more friendly people? Three, two, one. Singapore. Scandinavia. No. Because I have the experience of being the white tourist lady with okay. hijab walking with the locals i get so much stares <laughs> which of course isn't like doesn't mean it's mean stares but it's for me it's very uncomfortable i would rather be able to hide and blend in not that i really blend in here either yeah it, it's a different experience of course for me <laughs> to be fair though you do get stares here as well or we get stares here as well yeah we get stares not just me but we get stares in Singapore, you know, I walk with the locals. I walk, I walk with you guys. I stand out. <laughs> and we don't just go to like touristy places. No, we yeah. Go, we go to like heartland places where she could be the only white person you see for a day, you know. Yeah. I think the people at like Marhaba is like, this girl again. Because I would come back every year. Shout out to Marhaba. <laughs> oh, I, I miss Marhaba. Oh my God. I, could, I would just come back every year. I'm sure they were like... Ah, oh, that's the white girl hanging out with the locals. <laughs> Getting prata. And if you want to eat prata curry or rice whatever go to marhaba near juchan so good they're like the first like yeah meal i was like really like yes i love this oh geez i crave this yeah. shout out to them yeah and there you have it the most comprehensive list of the hard-hitting questions on which is better singapore or sweden slash scandinavia slash norway, <laughs> slash norway. <laughs> Yeah. that's it for this video we hope you guys enjoyed it let us know what you think about the questions and our answers of course based on our experiences if you've been to singapore and sweden slash norway or even denmark let us know if you agree or if you have any other things that we should reconsider <coughs> and yeah we'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>